Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the mean value theorem in calculus. So here we have graph of some function y equals f of x. And we are interested in part of the graph on the interval from a to b, where a and b can be any points on the domain. Now, before we can apply the mean value theorem, which we'll state in a few moments, it's important that there are some characteristics of this function. First, f of x must be continuous on the closed interval from a to b. So essentially, if there are any discontinuities between a and b, the theorem which we will state will not apply. Second, f of x must be differentiable on the open interval from a to b. So what this means is that at every point between a and b, the derivative of this function must exist. So this will exclude any functions that might have, for example, a cusp point where the derivative does not exist. Invalid. OK, so if both of these assumptions are true, we can say something very interesting about this function. This tells us, the mean value theorem that is, tells us that there exists some point C on AB such that f prime of c, or the derivative of f at c, is equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Well, you might be thinking to yourself, why do we care? This seems like just an arbitrary formula. But it helps to visualize it. So f of b minus f of a over b minus a, that can be thought of as the slope of the secant line that is connecting a and b. And f prime of c is the derivative at some point c. So essentially what this is saying is, if you look at the average rate of change of a function on some interval, as long as the function is continuous and differentiable on that interval, there will exist some point on the function in that interval whose derivative is equal to the average rate of change. Very cool theorem. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed the mean value theorem in calculus.